welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Is Ryan Garcia the boogeyman? Look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Ryan Garcia has recently come out on social media and thanked Emmanuel to go for stepping up to fight him when no one else would. Now, does this mean that Ryan Garcia is the boogeyman? Hell no, that's not what it means. You see Tevin Farmer come out and debunk this all together, basically stating, and I quote, everybody keep asking me. Yes, we had talks with the Garcia camp. We actually had talks with Golden Boy, and I was looking forward to the fight. They never hit us back. Simple. There you go. If you know, you know. I'm solid. I don't lie about these things. So basically what he's saying is he held talks for a Ryan Garcia fight with Golden Boy promotions, and yet they never hit them back up. They never responded to him. They never sent him an offer. They never took this serious. And a Tevin Farmer fight for Ryan Garcia is levels above anything with the manual to go and you know tevin farmer was a for, former world champion has elite defensive skills and abilities that would have been an excellent fight for ryan garcia a manual to go is nothing more than a cab driver we got to be honest and unbiased about it and you know normally we would give ryan garcia a break from fighting this level of competition but he kept running his mouth saying stupid things like 2020 is going to be my year only huge fights. Let's go. Don't say stupid things like this, but then you turn around and you're fighting a cab driver, a grocery store clerk, a palatero. You fight these type of guys, but you're saying you're only fighting huge fights? You're officially garbage truck juice. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.